Hi everyone. Welcome to our another video in the series of Touchpad and we are going to cover the chapter that is a stepwise thinking, right? So as we are able to see, we can just take a take off, number the picture in the correct order that how you will be going to do. I think it is very easy when you are getting ready for your school, right? So you can do it. Like we are having each and every step like uh, you are, you will be going to take the bath, then you will be getting ready, right? You will be taking your breakfast and wearing your uniform, etc, etc. It is having particular step. The name of our chapter is also satisfying stepwise thinking. It means we have to go stepwise and this chapter basically tries to do or focus on the thinking. So let us do it with the simple instruction. What do you do when you have to sharp your pencil? You will be firstly taking the sharpener, pencil, right? And then you will be going to sharp your pencil. After, you will be going to rotate your pencil in the clockwise direction to sharp it. And then you can write any of the thing that you want to write, correct? But it is not possible if you will shuffle any of the steps, right? So it is what? There is a particular step that we must need to follow. Like we can also take another example when you are making a fruit salad, you will be going to arrange your fruits, then cutting the fruits, adding ingredients and then serving the salad, correct? So we will be going to go in the stepwise manner, right? So first of all, you will be going to think for the fruits and then you will be going to salt. Then you have to wash the fruit with the clean water. You will be going to peel the fruit and then you will pick a knife to cut them in the cubes. And then you will be adding the ingredients like salt as per the taste. You can also use half of melon, of lemon, right? So what is this? We are completing one step. Then we are moving to the another step. It is what? It is stepwise thinking. As in our examination hall, also it goes, first of all, you will be getting the content, you will be copying the content, you will be studying, and then you will be going to appear for the exam, and the last will be having the result, right? So it is having a particular steps that after completion of first step, you will be moving forward with the second step, right? We can also take an, another example of birthday party. When you are inviting your friend, you have to plan everything in the stepwise manner. Correct? You will be getting to decide the time and place, then family members, and then you will be going to uh, inform them or invite them for the party. Then you will be greet the guest with loves, and then you will enjoy the party. Right? One more thing that the step-by-step -step procedure is also called algorithm. And it is the computer terminology that you have to remember. The step-by-step -step process is known as algorithm. And it is widely used in many of the application because the computer follows algorithm that what they have to do, correct? What are the manner? What are the steps? Next, decision-making. Decision-making. It means we are getting clear that we have to take the decision, correct? Obviously, you must also have taken the decision in your life that um, suppose you are having two tests, okay, tomorrow. So you will be deciding that, uh, yes, I'm completed with the first test. I'm just prepared so I can just study the next chapter or next subject, right? So you're making decisions, right? So decision making is something like in which you will be going to select according to the condition what you have to do, right? Like we can simply take, if it will be raining, then you can carry an umbrella and you will go into school. Otherwise, you will not carry an umbrella and you will go to school, right? So there is a decision, if and then, right? So here it is just the activity where it is just saying, if boy is eating ice cream, then color the star as red. So he is eating ice cream, so you, we can color the star with red. Otherwise, we will be doing it with yellow. So there is a condition. If the condition passes, then we will be going to do certain thing. Otherwise, we will be moving forward with the next step. Next is our loops, right? You must have uh, played in many of the swings, right? In the garden or park. So what are they? They are loop. 
you will be going to up in the seesaw then down up down up down up down so it is what it is loop correct like when you are writing you are seeing the content from the blackboard you are writing seeing the content writing seeing the content writing so it is what it is loop so what can we say in the simple language the repetition of action is called loop the repetition of action is called loop as we are able to see it is just the loop first boy harry and jerry harry and jerry are there so they will be playing in the seesaw and it will be in the loop form right let us understand the program so a computer understand a step by step instruction written only in a unique language which is called as program because we know that computer cannot understand our normal language that's why we use coding and we create the program so that computer can understand what are the instruction that we are trying to convey to our computer like if you want to make the square then we can say make two steps right right make two steps right then move two steps up move two steps left move two steps down right similarly we will be going to follow for the rectangle also so we are giving certain instruction that it must go to the right direction two step one step then up one step two step then left one step two step and then down one step two step so we will be having the particular step by step instruction right it cannot do like one step one step and then one step one step so it will be getting it will be of no use right so if it is having certain step by step instruction then it is called as program now it's time for the exercise what is the process of completing one step and going to going on to the another so it will be step wise thinking what is the act of repeating the task we have just seen the seesaw looping what is the set of step by step instruction in a unique language in a unique language it is considered as program okay question answer let's do but before it let's complete a scratch your brain so here you must be packing your bag for going to school for the next day so what you will be going to do open your school bag the first step see the dash for monday so you will be going to see the time table for monday keep dash in first section so we will be keeping books and copies right books and notebooks according to the subject for according to the subject period for the dash for the first half then keep remaining books and notebooks in the second section okay and then you just need to keep a pencil box diary lunch box in the another section right it is as simple it is here it is just showing that take the picture that represent the loop it means repetition of task brushing it is the repetition of task hola hope it is also the repetition of task round and round round and round writing you are also doing the again and again right and then eating you will be eating continuously correct so they are next is the application based question your mom is not at home your younger sister feels hungry so can you prepare a maggi you have to tell this answer in the comment and i will be eagerly waiting for the comments that how you are preparing maggi right for your sister so please do comment next you have kartik kartik has got hurt while playing in the school so what the decision that you will be making so first of all we will be taking care of him we will be sending him to the infirmary right so that he can take all the medicines and other things now let's move to the question answer here it is showing uh, here it is asking two examples of looping so playing in seesaw swinging in the swing are the examples of loop in our real life what is a step wise thinking the process of completing one step and going on to the other is known as a step wise thinking 
एग्जाम्पल्स प्लानिंग फॉर अ बर्थडे पार्टी प्लानिंग रिक्वायर्ड स्टेप बाय स्टेप थिंकिंग करेक्ट एज वी हैव सीन देन व्हाट इज डिसीजन मेकिंग डिसीजन मेकिंग इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ अराइविंग एट अ कंक्लूजन बाय गिविंग और बाय मेकिंग अ चॉइस राइट लाइक इफ इट इज रेनिंग देन वी विल कैरी एन अम्ब्रेला गो टू स्कूल अदरवाइज वी विल नॉट कैरी एन अम्ब्रेला बट वी विल गो टू स्कूल करेक्ट so this is all everyone for this video see you in the next video thank you